Welcome to Sixth Sense and Beyond, and I'm your host, Christina Andrianopoulos. And I'm Catherine Glass, Psychic Medium. And we open the world, the spiritual world, to the world. Yes, we do, and we bring all kinds of wonderful guests onto our show. I'm very excited about our guest today. Yes, Marilyn Taylor. Marilyn yep. Taylor is a, one of the keynote speakers at a wonderful expo um, that's happening in November, and she's going to tell us all about it. I love that expo. It's and the huge. publisher and the people who organize it are from the Spirit Guide, and I mean Spirit of Change magazine. Yep. And so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about what her specialty is as a life coach. Absolutely, because sometimes life gets really overwhelming and we can get really ungrounded. And it feels like you're in a race car drive, right? Absolutely, and she's yep. gonna talk all about that. Yep, also we have um, our wonderful viewer who was chosen to be on the on-air reading and her mm -hmm. name is Susan, and I'm Let's sorry, see. Sarah, and you will be meeting her with Catherine. And you know, one thing I wanted to say that's, that's for all of you to know is when, the, when they write, they write to me, when you write to me at readings at at sixcentsandbeyond.com. Catherine doesn't know anything about it because I don't send it to her, and she meets that person on the set the same time. Right. So this that's what's so exciting about it. It's called a cold reading, yeah. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is, it's great. But we're quite warm up here, so. <laughs> <laughs> also, we could not do it without our sponsors, yeah. and we have Julio's Liquors, and Spirit Meets Spirit. And, and the Healing Essence Center in Concord, Massachusetts, which is a healing center that I own with my husband, Jonathan Glass. I know, it's just wonderful, I've yeah, been do, there. Yeah, we oh. do holistic healing of all different modalities there. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Medical Aesthetics, which is also up there in Conquer. It's in Acton. Acton, yeah. Acton, Acton. and Lemonster. We love having them as our sponsor. Mm -hmm. And you feel like you're, you're healed when you go in there. Yeah, it's and like it's a spa. A, it is a spa. <laughs> That's great. And of course, my hair, Christian Ray, thank you so much for making us look like all of us, like celebrities, and making it possible for us to come on and look great. Thank you so much. Yeah. And we should, uh, oh, before then, we organized another psychic gallery. Yes, we did. Isn't isn't it great? Yeah. So put it on your calendars right now. Write it down. We'll tell you a little bit more about it on November 20th right. at the Manor. At 6.30. At 6.30 mm -hmm. to 8. Yeah. And basically you can also come in because they have a beautiful restaurant called The Draft House. Mm -hmm. So everybody come in and have dinner on your own and then be there. So you can get a good parking space and at 6 o'clock the doors open. Right. And you're going to eat first and then we're right. going to do a gallery. And I'm going to bring messages through. Um, from your loved ones. Yes, that's great, yeah. especially right before the holidays. Yeah, so it'll be great. perfect. I hope you'll join us. Yes, okay, and that's again November 20th at the Manor, and we'll be uh, promoting it a lot. So yep. let's go into our first guest. Okay, Marilyn. Marilyn. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. welcome to Sixth Sense and Beyond. Thank you. Thank you both for having me. It's great thank, to be here. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm so excited. tell us a little bit about you so our viewers can sure. Tune Sure. Know a little bit about you. Um, I'm owner of Confident Directions Life and Wellness Coaching, so my priority is as a life coach, but I'm also an author, a speaker, and facilitator. And this year, I'm one of the keynote speakers at the Natural Living Expo, which will be in Marlboro, November 16th. And my keynote talk is on Crazy Busy Cure, something I feel really passionate about yeah. because, like you said, Life gets a little overwhelming sometimes, and it we does. all get kind of pulled, you know, off track. About Seventy directions, yeah, right? About At seventy. Least. If you're lucky, <laughs> it's only seventy. Know. You That's know? What it feels like. Yeah. If you're lucky. Yeah. So you're an author as well. I'm an author as well. Is this well. your book? Yes, this is oh, my book. Cool. Ten Practices of right Personal Sustainability: The Savvy Person's Guide to Conscious Living, and that will be available at the expo. That's Excellent. wonderful. And I call it practice because. That's what we do in life. We practice, mm -hmm. you know, um, things to try to get better at them. Sure. We don't have to be perfect. We just put out. That's right. You and know, you our never best really foot arrive, do forward. You? Right. You just keep, you just keep, keep learning, keep, keep growing, learning. keep practicing. So I know for myself and for many of our viewers mm -hmm. and friends and family, life is really, really crazy. Yeah. And so you're saying crazy busy cure. You have a crazy busy cure. So could you talk about um, a little bit about? what you've come up with in reference to all of us and maybe relaxing sure. our lives a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we all can acknowledge that life has gotten a little too fast-paced, yes. you know. Um, but I think that we all have the ability to slow it down. And I think that 
culturally right now, you know, we've sort of experienced a backlash to that busyness. You know, we've really gotten pulled off center um, from what we know to be true for ourselves Big to, time. you know, Valiant. to have a life of well-being in all ways, right? right. Professionally, personally, yeah. eating. Yeah, I read a statistic the other day that said that 48% um, of people's food dollars are spent on food they eat on the go. Fast food. Or, yeah. yeah, that's that's, that's, that's pretty high, and right? Everybody's getting sick. Right. Yeah, we won't so, go there. You know, it affects it affects all aspects mm -hmm. of our lives, mm -hmm. whether it's our careers, our relationships, um, just how we feel day in and day out. Yes. And so I believe that when we slow down, and this speaks a little bit to to your area of work, we can begin to listen mm -hmm. more clearly to what we know to be true, our Absolutely. wise right. guide That's within, right. that right. if we just slow down enough to pay attention, right. you know, we'll, we'll have our answers. And sometimes, you know, we've been drawn to things in life because of what we thought people expected of us or what we wanted to attain mm -hmm. right. in terms of maybe income or status. Right. But as income has gone up, actually happiness has gone down. Yeah, I so that. that's that's telling us something. So just to speak in real life language, mm -hmm. which you do, so the day is really, really busy, especially if you're parenting, and let's say you have sure. an older, I mean, Taking a, care a of senior, an older parent, maybe right, yeah. you have that I, in yeah. your life, and then you've got your career, and then mm -hmm. the economy's not doing really well, and mm -hmm. then we have a TV show, and <laughs> so all of that. Yeah. So we, if you say to me, slow down, okay, I'll slow down for three seconds, and that's it, but you're saying, that you have different techniques that you can help people just slow down for a little bit. Yeah, well the first technique is, be, is by heightening your awareness. Yeah. You know, what is making you so right. crazy busy? Right. Um, take a breath, right? Start with a breath. Start with a breath. That's right. huge. Mm -hmm. yep. It's huge, right? Um, so I think the first thing is just bringing your attention to what is making your life so full and so busy and then start to discern a little more, um, you know, what your priorities are, what oh, your yeah. values what you maybe are, let go of or what would you maybe let go of, do less what of? would you choose to do differently. Yeah. But I caution people to not do sort of a full sweep of their life. It won't last. It won't last, right? <laughs> and then people are like, oh, see, it didn't work, right. you know? <laughs> Nothing ever works. I tried Sometimes, it, it didn't yeah. work. Right. And it's right. There's a lot of self-saboteuring, isn't there? Mm -hmm. yeah. So to even just look at one thing mm -hmm. that you can change or also to work with somebody in your life you know maybe it's your kids maybe it's your yeah. partner maybe it's colleagues mm -hmm. at work you know what can we do a little bit differently here mm -hmm. so that um, you know, we're that's not so feeling true because so stressed. We're all stressed. My Partnering. daughter is, is mm -hmm. applying for colleges and oh, she's yeah. trying to do yeah. SATs and do really well in school and do her clubs and do her sports and then there's me and my craziness and my running and TV show and then... And it's trickling down to, yes. the, to the kids it's, too. Yeah, the kids it, yeah. are also... So yeah, there's a lot of anxiety. And no kidding. Anxiety. And it's, it comes from us too. I mean, I know I stress out my daughter, but mm -hmm. one of the things that I've done is to sit down and say, okay, look, you can't keep up with what I'm doing or even know what I'm doing and you either, but let's make a list. Right. You know, let's make your list, my list, mm -hmm. and our list. And, and so I'm trying to do that mm -hmm. so that I don't have expectations mm -hmm. of you. Well, the other thing that happens too is we put too much in our day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we all get the same amount of time, right? right? You know, but the overwhelming demands that we place on ourselves is because we're unrealistic about what we can actually fit in mm -hmm. right. to our day. So, you know, you have the to-do list that's mm -hmm. this long, mm -hmm. and maybe you just need to focus on a couple of priorities mm -hmm. or see what you can delegate or see what you can bring in help for mm -hmm. or do communally. Yeah. You know, I remember when um, I was young, <laughs> you know, that my husband and I, we, as friends, we'd all get together and help each other out. Yes. I don't see as much of that oh, anymore yeah. because everybody is so distracted and that's the point other thing is there's, there's a high level of distraction yes. that's going on that people are really being pulled and yanked mm -hmm. you know we can blame it on social media or whatever right. um, yeah. you right. know the it's internet mm -hmm. email iPhones but um, we can reel that in 
Oh, families we can choose. will sit down in, in the same room together and everyone's on their devices. Yeah. Yeah. It's like family time, at least right. they're all together. Yeah. I mean, I that's know. really what it's turning yeah. into. I read something the other day about a woman that owns a pizza shop and she's giving discounts to families who will keep their mobile device Shut That's off. Great. Oh, I saw, a I saw a sign in a, in a you know? cafe on, on a cafe. I think it was somewhere, and and it said, um, yeah. "No cell phones allowed. No Wi-Fi. Talk to each other." Talk to yeah. each other. Right. Yeah, it was great. Right. Imagine. Well, you know what? I was at a restaurant with um, my daughter and my son, and he was actually working at the restaurant. I took a picture of a father and son at another table, and he was like this, and the father was like this. Oh, I remember. And I said, I said, oh, and I actually posted it, but I kind of blurred their faces and said. A father and son having lunch. So mm. 20 minutes go by, and the next thing I know is my daughter's on the phone, and I'm on the phone, and I go, <laughs> Oh, and, but we <laughs> there just we had are. 15 good minutes Busty. of talking. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so. you know, the other part of this is it's it's having an effect. It's having an impact mm -hmm. on our health and well-being. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think I was sharing with you, Christina, that. The American Psychological Association does a review every year on stress in America. Mm -hmm. And they said that we are on the verge of a health crisis that's related to stress. I, I, yeah, can, I think we're and, in. And one of the yeah. biggest problems is that people are feeling very challenged with time management. Yes. So even if they know what they can be doing, they're just. Right, and you they're know, grabbing so caffeine and sugar and things yeah. to help, yeah. help them cope. Yeah. Calm them no down, wonder Starbucks is doing so well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so you're going to be speaking, and yeah. there's a little bit of, you touched a little bit about the topic, yeah. about your crazy busy cure, yeah. and that's great. And, and this, you work with individuals? I work with individuals, right. I create communities, yeah. I have circles. Wonderful. I work with organizations. I'm really excited great. to be and doing the work I love. We wisdom. can't wait for your book to come Thank out you. and it will be there. And Thank as you. you're speaking, your name is coming through. So if anybody would like to get in touch with Marilyn, mm -hmm. and again, it's a Natural Living Expo in Marlboro, Marlboro Mass. Mm -hmm. yep. right? And, and it's, it's sponsored or run by Spirit of Change, is right. that right? Right. Yes. Magazine. Um, Michelle Bredner, though, is the producer of this. Yeah. And um, she does an incredible job at creating um, an event that's just very accessible for that's people. Great. Yeah. That's great. Wonderful. Yeah. Maybe you'll be a keynote speaker next year. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh. But Never know. before we go, we're doing our psychic challenge. Will you help us with this? Sure. All right, I'm going to let you hold sure. this shoe. Mm. You're going to say, what are Whoa. we doing with shoe? No, we are not Lovely. doing a whole bunch of shoes, but you'll see why. Okay. okay, so let's put them close together so we don't confuse our viewers. Okay. We do this every episode, and basically what we would like the viewers to do yeah. is, go ahead, Catherine. We'd like you to, um, I'm, I've chosen, I've worn one of these shoes. Choose. Right. And we want you to choose which one you think um, I have chosen or worn. But before yes, they I'm do that, Susan. maybe. And you I'm going to pick one. No, you're going to, what we're going to do is this time, you're going to pick which one do you uh -huh. think right. that Catherine Glass wore. Now, right. I know I wore one of them and somebody else wore another one and right. Catherine wore one of these. Right. So, which one of these shoes mm. do you think Catherine so Glass Go into that third eye, that right. brow where you see and just. First thing that comes to you, trust it, and right. then write it down. And then is we're it gonna... the one Marilyn's holding? Mm. Yeah. Is it the one that Catherine's holding, <laughs> or is it the one that I'm holding? And then mm. we'll come back later and she tell you the answer <laughs> right <laughs> after the, our break. And th Marilyn, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you, Marilyn, thank thank you for, for having us. me. You're like Vanna White. And oh, we're yeah. playing <laughs> with our game. <laughs> thank Silly you. Fun. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay. Don't go away. <laughs> Let's make a selection. Welcome back to Sixth Sense and Beyond, and this is the part of the show where we do our psychic reading, and today's volunteer guest is Sarah. Um, I've never met Sarah before. Nope. This is our first encounter, and um, here we go. Okay, so um, you had a question mm -hmm. about, specifically, kind of career question, but not really. It's more like a, it was an open-ended, say it again, it's say what your question is. Basically where my career is going to take me or where where's it gonna go right now because it's it's a little bit all over the place uh -huh. um, all but over I the have, place meaning in your mind meaning you know I have my art I have yeah another freelance business that I do okay so where is it gonna take me okay what, what should I do with it okay let's just let's just see what spirit wants to give you I'm just um, really aware of 
like you just said, a lot of things at once. Um, tremendous, very um, creative energy all around you, a fast pace. I feel a fast pace with you. And also, as soon as I saw you, I heard leadership. I feel that you're a person who um, is going to be in charge in some way, shape, or form of whatever it is you do. Number one, for sure, being entrepreneurial. I don't mm -hmm. think you would work very long for another mm -hmm. a boss. Um, and you may, it, down the road in the future, partner with someone and create um, an enterprising business, an entrepreneurial enterprise of sorts. I feel that you will be speaking um, to lots of people through a way of educating them Mm -hmm. like a teacher, lecturing, teaching, but, but also not teaching like in a classroom necessarily, teaching ideas, um, helping people to open their own minds to a new way. And, mm -hmm. and, in, and this is still a little vague, so let's, let's narrow it down. Um, you paint, you're creative, you mm -hmm. love art, but you also have this side of you that's very much um, orderly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because we think of art as being kind of very intuitive and, and spontaneous, mm -hmm. which is wonderful, but you seem to have a really clear balance of a linear side that's very or, order organized and could want to create structures and um, share that. And I feel somehow you're going to bring these two qualities together mm -hmm. um, very much in your life. And um, do you want any more children than you have? Um. Yes and no. <laughs> okay, so you're open. I'm open, you know, if it was to happen, obviously yes. Yeah. Um, but right now, it's I feel like life is just... So full? So full. You have a little girl, right? I have a little girl, and okay. she's almost six now. Okay. And it's... She's a huge part of the energy that I'm reading around you right now. Mm -hmm. um, you've been at home with her mostly, or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the energy is very um, strong with the creative child energy. I mean, you could go a lot of different directions. You could mm -hmm. do this... Um, piece that I'm talking about where you're bringing something to the world that has to do with creativity, mm -hmm. but also the mind. I keep getting like, you're going to teach people about the mind or, mm. or the the brain or how it works or how to see things. Something. Are you, are you into psychology at all? Um, you, I was actually background? one of my ma majors. Okay. Psychology. Um, I just, uh, they're showing me something about where you're going to be helping children unfold their creativity or their learning. It, mm -hmm. It's down the road a ways. You haven't even studied this yet. It's mm -hmm. coming. I definitely see more education for you down mm -hmm. the road, some classes, but it'll be fun. It's not like going back to college for four years. Right. It'll be freelance stuff that mm -hmm. you choose. Um, keep painting because that keeps the creative flow happening and you keep downloading the information sort of mm -hmm. from your higher self mm -hmm. to guide you on your life path. Absolutely. But for sure you will be managing, leading, teaching, running your own business of some kind, um, and speaking. Mm -hmm. Your teaching will come through your speaking. And I do feel that there's a boy, child, mm -hmm. around you that wants to come in to your family. Hmm. So if you, if you actively don't want to have and aren't ready for that child to come in, you just need to be really careful because <laughs> that child's coming. And okay. you can ask me anything about what I've just said. Any more questions um, for clarity? For clarity. Um, like the, anything specific? Well, the, the boy just popped in my mind for question about that. <laughs> Do you see something happening? I mean, no, I'm just kidding. Like, are you pregnant? No. <laughs> no. no um, I don't know. I mean, um, I like how you pointed out, you know, in the future with, you know, hel helping children exp explore their creative side. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I don't know. That Do is you feel a connection with children completely. other than your own? Yeah. Could you see yourself? Absolutely. I just, that's what I, I feel about you. I feel mm -hmm. that young people will be drawn to you like, like, like magnetized to you. And, and, but adults will listen to you as well because you're very poised. You have that, you just walk in a room and you have that presence. It's commanding and people mm -hmm. are going to listen to you. I think you're going to write a book. Hmm. Um, so you got to come back and let me know absolutely um, what what happens from this reading and if certainly if you want a longer reading a private reading absolutely you can book one with me and any of you out there watching you can find me at katherineglass.com and schedule a half hour or a 50 minute reading and that's our reading for today and thanks so much and we'll be right back don't go away let's make a song Welcome back. And Catherine, that was just such a great reading. And Sarah was such a bright light. Oh, my gosh. She had so much light around her. Yeah. I could have gone on and on. She's I know. You lovely. know, when, when I saw you doing that, I thought possibly that maybe one day she, she would be doing working with her intuition, too. Oh, she already is. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I love it. But right now we have our psychic challenge. Yeah, okay. Drum roll. So if you <laughs> missed this earlier, you have a chance to pick right now. 
We have these three shoes. No, we are not doing a shoe gallery, but what we are doing- But I love shoes. We love shoes. <laughs> what we're doing is we're using these shoes in order for you to pick which shoe you think Catherine Glass owned. Is it this beautiful little uh, brown one? Is this one in the middle or is this one? And again, I wore one and she wore one and somebody else wore the other. So which one do you think it is? So why don't you take a few seconds now and look them over and, right? Yep. Okay, and the answer is. No. Do you believe she wore those shoes? I know they're really high. <laughs> they're great. So if if they pick the shoes, now talk a little bit about because what we'd like to do with psychic challenges, first of all, it's fun yeah. and entertaining, yeah. but also we can start getting tuned into mm -hmm. right on on how to do this. So. What should people be looking at next time in order to tune in a little bit better? Um, first of all, don't let your mind get in the way. Usually go with your first hit. When, when Christina or I present the objects, just say, I'm drawn to that one, and that's it. Um, you, I know you're trying to align with the one that I chose, so I've kind of focused on that and put the energy out there to you all. And then you just pay attention. What what made me pick that? What right. happened? Did I get a chill? Did I feel a, you know, uh, did I hear the word in my mind? Did I just know it was that? And don't worry if you didn't get it right. either, because right. it's all just an unfoldment. You can you come know. back next week and do it again, especially if you saw it. Then you can tell your friends you will. You're getting good at it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, it's just a fun. small little short way that we can play and do um, psychic right. challenge. But because here at Sixth Sense and Beyond, we open the spiritual world to the world. And to us, it just means that we're helping you through our wonderful gifted guests, through mm -hmm. your talents, right. through me trying to be more intuitive yep. for everybody. To and our knowledge and information sharing it. Right. You. So it's not so mysterious and frightening. Exactly. Yeah. And so basically, right now, we love this part. It's our psychic tips. Okay. Right. Yes, this is good. So, uh, yeah. here, Christina, mm -hmm. I, you know, see a lot of people, clients, and I often um, get the question, who are my spirit guides? Mm -hmm. And how can I know that they're with me? And how can I reach them? So I'm going to give a little demonstration. I'm going to use you. Um, okay, so for me, when I say spirit guide, to me, I'm familiar with the term. Okay. I can call it my angel. Right. Okay, your guardian. Whatever your guardian. A spirit guide is a being that's a real living being in the spirit world mm -hmm. who has been with you from before the moment you took your first breath to the moment you take your last and leave your body. And I believe in that because walking on this earth, even though we are earthlings, yeah. I believe that we continue being guided from, yes. from above yes. through our spirits. That's the point, is to really understand we really mm -hmm. are never alone. Some people out there are very lonely and really suffering and sad, and I often will encourage them to understand about spirit guides yeah. because you're not alone, and when you can really open up and connect to that spirit guide and have conversations with right. them, it's it really is very healing and helpful. Okay, so we're, now we're going to do tips because we love to share and impart yes. information. So, so here's the I, with you, will do it together, yes, right? Yes, feel okay. free to join us. I'm gonna do a very, very quick meditation mm -hmm. how to reach your spirit guide. You don't need to sit for hours. However, if you like the feeling of this experience, you can draw it out as long as you'd like, 20 minutes, an hour, as long as you'd like. But make sure you see the rest of our show, too. <laughs> yeah, right, don't get lost, okay. So, Christina, just take a nice deep breath and go to some place in your mind Either you'll see it, feel it, hear it, know it, that's beautiful in nature. It can be a garden setting, it could be a wooded setting, it could be the ocean or the beach. And notice when you arrive that there's a bench waiting for you. And I'd like you to go to that bench with the intention that you're going to meet one of your spirit guides, because we often have more than one. You're going to meet your main spirit guide at the bench. So move toward the bench now. Do you have an image in your mind? I do. Okay. And, and personally for me, I'm at the ocean because that's what I love. That's what I thought you'd be. So <laughs> sit at the bench mm -hmm. and now look up and know that your spirit guide is either already standing there or is coming toward you. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of another presence? Yes, I do. Okay. I feel the spirit guide is coming towards me, towards the bench. Okay. And what you do is when the spirit guide arrives or this being, you simply talk to them, look at them and say, I'm here to meet you. I'd like to know about you. You can ask them, have you lived on Earth before? What's the answer? Yes. They and, have and, been on and Earth And for me, I've seen my spirit guards oh, okay. before. So, I, so I mean, you can say, have you lived on Earth before? Yeah. How did you know me? Have you known mm -hmm. me in a past life? Um, how do you guide me? And also, you can tell your spirit guide, ask your spirit guide, please 
I'm inviting you to be more involved in my yes. life. I'm inviting you to give me signs and signals when I ask for questions or something. If I have a choice to make, I want three signs that I can get from you, you know, and I promise to keep my eyes, ears open for those signs. Maybe That's it's great. something on a license plate. Maybe it's, you know, a song on the radio or right. someone says something, but they do work with you and they won't intervene unless they have to, but they won't intervene uninvited. That's great. I love that. And thank you so much for sharing that because You're it welcome. actually got me right where I needed to be, the bench and the whole things. But you know what? It we have to really close quickly. right okay. now. Let's not forget <laughs> about our psychic gallery on November 20th. Yes. You'll be reading the room from mm -hmm. 6.30 to 8 o'clock at the Manor in West Boylston. We'll yeah. be sending invitations out. But really, if you have any inform any questions, just log on to our website, sixcentsandbeyond.com. You can even buy tickets there and learn yeah. how to buy tickets very affordable, $35, that's it, yeah. for a wonderful evening of yes, entertainment. Thank you so much, Christian Ray, for making us all look like <laughs> celebrities, and your great husband and you for the Healing Essence, Essence Center. Center, yeah, in Concord. Yep. And medical aesthetics, and again, out Julio's Liquors. And hopefully you'll have a great fall and enjoy the foliage as the Mother mm -hmm. Nature paints paints yes. the canvas. Yes. And we love you. We love you too. Let's make a selection.